Hi Foundation students. Today for writing, we are going to be learning to use the tools we have around us to make our writing better. And by the end of the lesson, we will have written a sentence using some of the words out of our um, magic word booklet and some words that we know from our memory. Okay. Now, while we were writing our true stories about ourselves, we practiced a lot about saying our sentence, hearing the sounds and using our phoneme fist to help us write the words that we wanted to. Well, today what we're going to do is try to use some words from our memory that we already know how to spell, like your name, your friend's name, and maybe a place that you've been before, and also using our tools like this, like our booklet or like other words that you have around where you are working. So watch me as I show you how to do that. Okay, I've got all my things ready to be able to write my sentence. Um, have you had to think about some words that you already know how to spell, maybe? Um, my first step is going to be to say my sentence out loud. Now, like I said before, we're going to be writing words that we already know how to spell, like names, and then using our um, magic word booklet to create the rest of our sentence. So here goes. This is going to be my sentence. Nat was in the bed. All right. So how many words was that? Nat was in the bed. Five. So I think I'll do my five dots. That way I know how many words I need. Nat was in the bed. Okay, so I've got that. Now, the word Nat is actually my name. So I already know how to spell that. So I'm just gonna write that straight down. It is the start of a sentence. So I'm using an uppercase letter and it's also my name, Nat. Now the word was is a golden word. Can you see it? I'm gonna find it. So instead of trying to use my phoneme fist to hear the sounds of the word was, I know it's already here. Was, oh great, so I can copy it straight here. Was in, in, oh, it's another golden word. Don't even need to use my phoneme fist. There it is in the is that a golden word too can you see it there it is the and the last word was bed that actually isn't one of our words here but i'll quickly use my phone in fist bed b e d b e D, bed. And then it's the end of a sentence. So what do we need to put? A full stop. So we'll just read that back. Nat was in the bed. I used a word that I knew already, my name, and words from our magic booklet. Fantastic. Now what you might like to do is change it a little bit using your brother or your sister's name or a friend. I'm going to use my son, Troy. Okay, so this is going to be my new sentence. Troy was in the box. Okay, so how many words? Troy was in the box. Five. Troy was in the box. Okay, so I've got my dots ready. Now the name Troy, I know how to spell it, so I'm just gonna write it straight away. Don't need to do any hard work. Troy was, it is a golden word and we've already written it, was. Now in, oh, I don't need to stand it out or anything. In. And then the. Golden word. And then we can do box together. Box. B -o -x. B -o -x. Full stop. Okay, now your job today, foundation students, is to say a sentence that has your name in it first and some of our golden words in it. 
then you're going to have a go at writing that sentence. Remember that we are using our booklet to help us. So that's our strategy rather than trying to stretch out all of the words, but you might need to use your phoneme fist for some of the words in your sentence. All right, good luck.